Okay, we are here at the 2023 Northwest Carbon Academy in Ellensburg, Washington. If you've never been here, this is my first year. But if you've never been here, you'll be fascinated by the size of this place and the amount of room they have. I'm going to start and go around and, and see if I can hit all these classes in just a few minutes, but I don't want to. I don't want to have you listen to me talking the whole time. Here is the Moore's booth that Randy and Pat Moore from Minnesota have a rough out business and they sell rough outs from everything from ornaments to small projects, letter openers, heads, so a ton of Santas. Randy and Pat do a ton of Santas. You can find a whole bunch of Santas. You can buy wood from them in all kinds of different dimensions. You can buy bark. You can buy the wood sticks. See the wood sticks, the walking sticks over on the table. You can have a ton of slab wood. If you tell them what you want and you go to an event, they'll bring it to you. But they have a lot of rough outs. And you buy a rough out, say you want to do one of this, this pilot right here. They come with the pictures that show you what it should look like so you got something to go by. Heads, Tupelo, a lot of cowboys, Native Americans, more slab wood, dragons, all kinds of carving projects that, that you don't have to design on your own. So if you get a chance, check out roughouts.com. It's the Moore's Randy and Pat. Here's Ryan's table, Ryan Olson, a good friend of mine from, from uh, Nampa, Idaho. Kuna, I think he lives there now. But anyway, they're doing these classes. Everything from the old lady to the young girls to you know, guys that he's done in class on online. Here's a cowboy. Here's another girl called Frog Legs. All of these things that are going on that he does in classes. If you ever get a chance to take a Ryan Olson class, you really have a good time doing that. Zoom in a little bit here on one of these things. You see that picture of that girl right there. Ryan's done a great job at doing women's faces, and so it's really fascinating to see what he what he comes up with. I'd show you where he's at, but he's hiding somewhere because he knows I got a camera in my hand, so he's hiding from me. But his class has bunch of folks that really enjoy. You like taking Ryan's class? Love Ryan's classes. Why? He is so fun. You can carve what you want. You can make mistakes and he helps you learn how to work around those mistakes. <laughs> you guys, I hear you guys laughing the whole time. So yes, so I'm right across. He, he, is, he is the best instructor. Yeah, he, gotcha. I really enjoy him. He encourages mistakes, which is great. <laughs> if you know Ryan, Ryan's not a political person, but oh, someone asked him to do mine. this one. Yeah. And he says, I'm not, I'm not coming down on one side or the other, but no. it's yeah. called oh, it's just Air Force it's One, and it's, it's President Biden it's stumbling on the stairs. This is funny. Right. <laughs> no political statement on that. Here we're at Bob Travis's table. Bob has several carvers, including Chris Brown here, who's having fun. Good to see you, Chris. So Bob has several different uh, projects that you can do, from a pirate to a baseball player to clowns and golfers, and just some really great projects to try and do, and a nice little class going on here with these guys. <laughs> Here we have Debbie Edwards. Debbie Edwards is doing, get her name in there. Debbie's doing animals, and so the, 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 the attendees pick out which project they want to work on. And it's just fascinating with the detail that's put into each one of these carvings. Again, if you get a chance to come up here, you've got to come up to Ellensburg and take a class. Debbie's been coming for several years, and Students start with something like this and end up with that bobcat that we saw earlier. Are you having fun in the class? Yes, it's a very Why? good class. Why are you having fun? Because it's just a great, she's a great instructor and it's a great class. Thanks, thank you. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. We get over to the side of the table where no one wants to show their face on camera, right? 
Here's my friend Larry Carving. Hey, bud. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good, good. All these folks are just having way too much fun with their carving. Way too much fun. And, of course, everybody's got to show their tool roll because we all compare how many tools we have. And everybody wants to know who has the most tools. I don't who, have the most. That's and sure. who's, who's going to die with the most? Nancy, Nancy's got that whole thing full. So no, no, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you need it. You, you don't want to be at home. You don't want to be here carving and leave something at home when you need That's it. That's right. Because you got to buy it again. No, I just keep that on there at home. <laughs> <laughs> they stay in the case. She cleaned it out yesterday, and she's like... That's where that went. <laughs> That's in addition to her other bag down here. Yeah. <laughs> so. You're right. That's had more tools in it than this. I don't know whether we enjoy carving as much as we enjoy buying tools. That too. Yes. A little of each. A little of each. And we're going to go over to the corner with Charlie Phillips' class. Hello. Hello. And Charlie has the students doing wood burning and then some of them are doing painting on there. And so they take a turned piece of wood and they do some wood burning on it. So you get projects. Zoom in here a little bit so you can see those. And so not only is it wood burning, it's painting, it's turned, you just about get everything here. Yeah. Oh! On the back too. Let me get the whole real still. I'm gonna get into that. Wow, that is fascinating. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. This shows you where you have to go bigger, but you still have to go littler. Right. Wow. Wow. Fascinating. Thank you. Here's Jeff with a class of chip carvings. And these are on eggs and various sizes of, of basswood. Walking sticks as well. Great work here. All the eggs over here on the wall, gotcha. We'll zoom into those. One of my goals this year is to do more chip carving. It's always a, always a fascinating project to do. These folks over here are working on Rich Weatherby's offerings. I'm gonna pan through what he's got here real quick. So you see everything from wood spirits to gnomes, and Rich is Rich is famous for these bears as well. Here's one he's had online before. The grumpy, grumpy bear with a cup of coffee. Father Christmas back here, and just a number of offerings when you take his class. What you can do. I really love this cowboy here. As you know, I'm a cowboy carver. But I also love the Indian. I'm going to go over here and look at that Indian one. So Rich offers these in basswood and butternut. I'm going to lean right over you here. So you can get these in basswood, you can get them in butternut. And this is carving in progress. Nice. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Not too bad. Terry Moss, he's in charge of the place here, so if you have anything to complain about or tell Terry, let him know. He'll be glad to listen to all your complaints and concerns, cussings, discussions, whatever. We're back here in the corner. We're going to go towards Pat Moore's class. There's Pat. Hi. Hello, Pat. Hi. How long have you been coming here? Since the beginning, 2000. I don't even know when it was. Wow. Since the first one. Wow. Yeah. One of the first ones. Great. Great, Thanks, great nice. class. Come around here. Folks here are working on a Santa, so we'll start with that Santa first. Here's the project. And Pat has drawn on one of the projects, and the others are. Situated here. There's the Santa. So it's a Santa with a package and a big robe. She went in the, to in the, get a drink, I think. Yeah, I just talked to her a second ago. Sure. And so here's the finished product. I mean, look at that face. And the project. 
fairly tall. It's about 11 inches tall, maybe 10. Let you see what it looks like for all the way around. Just a great little project and a full class. She has 10 people in here taking the class. There's Lori and Peg from Salem. We'll cross over and step into the next room. I'll try to do it real quickly. So there's two rooms here. They have two large rooms to do these classes. Here's all the raffle items. So you buy tickets, put them in there so you can win some raffle items. If you can't be here, give somebody some money you know is going. They'll buy raffle tickets for you and hopefully if they win, they're honest with you about which, whether it's yours or theirs. But there's all kinds of things that you can raffle off. Here's a LV knife that has Northwest Carving Academy on it, 2023. Get it upside down. Rich Weather, Rich Smithson donated that from LV knives. Over here we have a bunch of folks that are doing some relief carving. Thank you. Let me get a little closer there. That looks great. What are you carving? Um, frontal mask. Uh, butternut? Is that what that is? Alder. Alder. It's wet. Oh. That's why it turns orange. Yes, I know that. I've seen that before. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Or anything else along the line. So, it was... Can we show your carving? Yeah. Can you show me your carving there? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Steve. I'm changing the mouth, so it's it was downturned. Now gotcha. It's going to be upturned. Want him smiling? Well, mean smile. There you go. Grimace. Thank you. We're coming over here to Chris's table. Chris Willock from Whittling Whittling Shack. Offers books, carving projects, finished carvings. He teaches class as well. He's got carving projects that he sells, as well as two by tools, supplies, gloves, tool rolls. And if you call him up, I'm sure he'll send you one of these lists where you can pull it off their website of the, of the two by tools that are for sale. Chris, good, good to have you up here this year. Good morning. This is a beautiful area. Great show here. You gotta come. Yeah, right. oh absolutely. Well. So you got a whole supply of stew by hey. tools. Good morning everyone. Whole supply of stew by tools. Chris sits over here in the corner. And what I don't knock over, he carves. Yeah, there you go. And you can pick see some of his carvings. We'll run down the list of or the row of stew by tools. If stew by makes it, you need it. You got to get it. Whittlingshack.com, 507-339-0336. Call him up. He'll get it to you. And our, our stew by tools. If you ever use stew by you, you'll love them. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, just a couple announcements for this morning. There's his contact information. If you get the, you get a chance to come up to the Northwest Carving Academy, you got to take his evening class on carving bark. I did. I had a great time. Mine doesn't look as good as his, but boy, that was a lot of fun. In addition to sales and classes, they have a, a table here for artists to display their stuff, and then we'll vote at the end of the week. We'll vote on best of. Here's a marionette puppet of a dragon by Lenny Williams. Here's a jeer falcon by Connie Wickard. A little wren by Bob Burke. A leaning caricature guy. 
Fries I'm Marcus Peckerson. Uh, yeah, or Peters. Dollars, and he's can't read the can't Renaissance read the word. I think it says Peckerson. Here's a cowboy gunfighter. Leslie Carter does a traveling witch. And we've got some dragon's path is what this is called. Well, these are not for sale. They're just here to demonstrate for the carvers who are up here and want to show their work and maybe win an award or two. Some Northwest Native Art. Cross out of, I think that's butternut. Beautiful Northwest Native American plaque. Look at this goat and his baby. Look at that. Look at that mass back there. If you've ever worked, ever, ever had robins in your yard, <laughs> they had that look on their face a lot. Other Northwest Native carving. Cheryl Dietzel did this mask. Flat, flat carving. Beautiful Italian pottery designed by Barb Fromhertz. George Wilson did the butternut chip carving. We got another Native American carving by Dan Winchester. And another one by Doris Sanders, a bowl. And then Nancy Gerard did a nice little garden girl. The Gerards are up here. They do sharpening. They offer supplies, they have carvings that they sell as well. Morning, y'all. Good, Good to see you. Great. Good to see y'all. Showing the crew. Showing everybody that couldn't awesome. be here. Maybe they'll maybe they'll be inspired to come back yes, next year. Yes, please come. Thank you. It's a fun time. Thank you. Over here we have Jerry Sinchuk's bird class. Folks are working on a wren. They are going at it. They are just taking it to it. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm just showing, and I put this on my YouTube channel, so uh, show them. Want someone who knows how to carve this? Want to see it all. Everybody wants to see it all. Jerry's been teaching for a long time and winning awards at the Ward Worlds and everywhere else he goes, and so he's got a whole, whole bunch of supplies in different classes. And if you're a bird carver, you got to have one of his books. You absolutely have to have one of his books. All right, Jerry? they got to buy your books. Absolutely. Buy your books. I'll say that a dozen times. <laughs> Here's my good friend, Doug. Doug is in our wood carving club at Boise. To learn more about Doug, I have an interview with him on our, on our, Facebook, our YouTube channel for the club. And Doug's working on a wren. I'm going to zoom in here real close. Look at that. Look at that. Holy smokes. You know, Doug, you know he has a whole lot more patience than I do, so you know I'd uh, not done as well. Here's Dave from our club. Hello, Dave. Hey. I'm going to zoom in on your rim. Come around the other side. Look at that. Holy smokes. These guys are going to town. Got the whole setup here with the, with the power carver, with the sanding machine as well. Picks up the dirt, dust, and all that stuff. If you didn't have one of these, all that stuff would be in your lungs. Yeah. Not a good thing. Cheryl's down here working at it. Yeah. And the puppy's with you. Yay. <laughs> we'll go over to another another relief class. Folks are using a variety of different woods. I think that's butternut, but maybe I'm over thinking it. But butternut looks like a nice little plaque going on there. Making a clock. Yeah, so. so they're using mallet tools and two-handed tools and Thank you. Come around here and talk to Lenny. She's doing her green man. Lenny's from Napa, Idaho, or Boise, Idaho. Yeah, all green, all green lady. I saw it the other day and just had drawing. I apologize. <laughs> so you see her green lady. She's doing out of basswood. And it's got a great start on it. Thanks, Lenny. Here's some of the finished projects over here. Campus leaves and grapes. Projects you can start with. All kinds of fun. These folks look like they're just having too much fun. I'm going to show a little bit of Lenny's work here from the, from the past. If you've been to our show in Boise, you've seen these before, but they, they, need, a, they need another look. Getting 
pictures to inspire people? I do a YouTube channel, so I put videos out on my YouTube channel, carving videos, instructions, things like that. Cool. This one here is chip carving. For those of you that do chip carving, I challenge you to do this. This is, this is fine work, excellent work. All right, thank you. Good morning. We're going to come over here to the to the basket class. These <laughs> folks are just having way too much fun. It's for sure. You're having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. It's the only way to do it. If you're not having fun, go do something else. Yeah. I'm meeting the nicest people in the whole wide world at this class. Really? For the first time. You, this is your first time here? This is my first time. <laughs> nice. This is, oh, har yeah, this is harder nice than city. anything I've ever done in my life. <laughs> hey, we harder? We did come out ahead. <laughs> yeah, it can be harder. Are the nicest? I think I'm right. Look at all these baskets. Look at all these baskets. Oh, yeah. Very helpful. Well, you know, life is about the challenges we face and how we handle them, right? <laughs> exactly, and learning new stuff when we're this age is good for our brain. It is. You're absolutely right. So this is this class is done by Anita Wells. And they're that, just, that's they're just, Cynthia's. They're just having fun. She she's out painting and then she comes here in the afternoon. Right. Yeah, she's multi-talented. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> and so you get an idea of what's going on here. If you haven't come to the Northwest Carbon Academy in Ellensburg, generally it's the second or third week of July. This one runs from 10 to 14. And just a fascinating amount of things going on in these two these two rooms. They offer some snacks here while you're here so you never have to leave your chair to go find lunch except at lunch. But just all kinds hey Chuck, hey, just doing? all kinds of wonderful things going on here. And if you've not been here, you should come here. You should come.